Z here again. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be working on a 2016 Mazda Miata MX-5. Uh, we're going to be working on an airbag. Uh, it deployed, so you know the whole guacamole after a uh, airbag deployment. Uh, you have to replace the airbag, uh, and the seat belt more likely is going to lock up. So you got to replace it or send it to be repaired like I did. I send it to uh, this place. I'm going to give you the information later on if you don't know, but that's the best way to go about. So let's go right in it and uh, hopefully you can enjoy and uh, benefit from it. So per the assessment on the picture and when the car was bought, uh, there was damage here on this wheel. Uh, the whole knee was trash the rack and pinion and the motor mounts were broken luckily not the engine and uh, this knee was also trash uh, so i believe um, I, well i'm guessing that the car spun out of control they, they spun out of control and it, it hit both the wheels and it hit so so the car detected a side impact and deployed the airbag so i sent the driver's side seat belt and the airbag control module to be uh, repaired and reprogrammed respectively. So in order to get to the airbag module, you'd have to remove this panel here. Uh, you have your CD player right there and the module sits under that CD player. So uh, in order to get to that, you have to remove the, the shifter nub, kind of clockwise of course then you have to pry this uh, uh, plastic vessel it just pries off to remove that leather cover upwards and then you can remove these these uh, other vessel which is sitting on top of see it's sitting on top of that of these other bigger vessel but on top of that vessel sits this molding here is corner moldings on top of that corner molding sits this little corner molding so the best or the first thing you have to remove is this molding by removing these clips prying this this out the clip comes out and then uh, it'll pry out it has access for the seat belt to come out so one two on the corner same thing clips three this uh, this covers uh, all the back part so this is the biggest molding because it runs from here to the other side so on the other side you're gonna do the same thing and and then it always oh, got these little pockets they're kind of long so you kind of have to uh, open up your seats forward to have access to remove them uh, outwards so let's disconnect the negative uh, terminal and that B, it should be simple enough. Let's loosen that nut there and putting your cable away. Away. There you go, it should stay there. tool and it'll pop out it's just basically little plastic tabs on it that goes behind it uh, important things to consider is that this pocket here and this kind of like a glove compartment uh, and those pockets have to go have to fit in in there you're sharing the trunk with those uh, compartments The X-1000 
explanation on how the seat belt it's uh, fastened in the corner here. You got the, uh, of course, you got the seat belt that's on this side here that goes to the buckle, comes back through the uh, seat here, and goes back by this bolt here. And you gotta make sure that, that that's clip over there in that little hole. And then this this will be your retainer, your shoulder retainer. And then um, your connection here. So it's two bolts holding the whole seat belt. It's a 12 millimeter bolt here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt behind the seat belt. So right there. And then there is another 12 bolt here on top. That comes this way. You see these, uh, these holes here, and that hole should match that. These here, these will hug that bar right there. The components that we have here, we have a bolt, uh, which is a 14 millimeter bolt. And uh, we have obviously the connector to it. And we have this notch here that will have to go. Let me show you, I'm right behind the seat. I'm gonna dive into it. This is where your bolt uh, goes, the 40 millimeter. This is the airbag glove. And the notch should be somewhere here. Initially, the seat belt locked up and it wouldn't, it wouldn't release, wouldn't come out. It was just totally locked. So what I did was take it off. Option one is to get a new one, which is very expensive. Option two, option two was to send it to be repaired. Uh, the place I, I uh, usually send them to is uh, Safety Restore, which is very reliable to me. Uh, this is the third uh, seat belt that I sent for them to repair. They unlock it and they also ask you to send the VIN number for matching everything to the uh, airbag control module. So you send the airbag control module and you send whatever seat belts are locked. This seat belt here uh, was locked. If you would pull on it, it wouldn't come out. And uh, it's coming out now, it's cleaning. It's, uh, the lock mechanism, is, it's been fixed. Ah. All right, so I have removed I have removed the two nuts that are here in the back and that is all and I have disconnected the airbag connector. Remember you just gotta pop, pop these uh, you gotta pop these uh, yellow locking device and then disconnect it. You pull your airbag out. So I got my uh, new airbag here. When I took it off, I made the mistake of uh, disconnecting it from inside here. There was no wonder why I, had, I was having a hard time to get to it. I don't know how I did it, but I disconnected it from inside here. Instead, it comes with this harness all the way. And if you follow it, uh, I believe it goes under the seat, towards the front of the seat. And uh, that's where it unplugs. So, uh, the fun part right now is going to be to trace that wreck of the harness, get this out uh, to, to complete the removal. The harness 
goes attached to that tab, that metal tab right there. See that tab right there? Hold this uh, harness into place. Like that. So anyways, uh, I just stuck my uh, my test light pointy part to get it out of there. It slides out. It's, it's, it's got a lock in the beginning. But then you pull that harness out and certainly in the back there is your, your yellow uh, harness connector. Because this little tab here. Now we can start installing our airbag. The longer part goes upwards and the two studs go in the little holder. The airbag is gonna go into these. here so if you can see I routed the um, the wire it goes to the back this is torn but it's okay it's gonna stay here and the airbag is gonna close like that